Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexandra. Welcome back to the bedroom as we are returning and adjusting our brassiers <laughs> to Agatha all along. This is episode six and we had a what? episode five that we have just left. Where do I begin on my thoughts? Because you know, you have thoughts as you ruminate over things days after initial viewing. It's thought one. I thought perhaps at first we may be getting a time jump backwards because Lilia, as the noise and the siren is going off, she went, ah, I hated this the first time. And I thought, oh, do we do this again and again? Because we've had her premonitioning beforehand. So I thought, oh, maybe we go back in time when we do the whole, all the trials again. And perhaps Alice gets saved and Sharon gets saved. But then I saw the clip from season, episode two where she's in the kitchen going, ah, and maybe that was the first time she heard the noise. And this is the second time and we're not getting Alice and Sharon back. Sons of bitches, Papa says. <sighs> so part of me wanted them to go back and save them because I want them to be alive. But the other part of me, you know, the storyteller is there needs to be stakes. And there were stakes were raised right from the front where it was, this road is difficult and you could die. So yes, it should mean something if somebody dies. And they shouldn't just be magically brought back to life because we want them to. There needs to be consequences. But I don't like it. <laughs> So I am afraid Alice is really dead, which sucks so hard. Rio, I think we pretty much know is death. So she was kind of disappearing because she was taking Alice's body. So that was my question is where was Rio when they were outside of the tree? And I'm going to call it a tree because for some reason I thought they were in a tree house. But they were outside. Agatha was having the discussion, arguing with Billy, where Billy's like, it's all about power. And Rio was gone. Okay, so she's taken Alice's body somewhere. That's my question. Rio is able to come and go from the witch's road as she pleases? Or was she just inside with Alice? Something was happening and I don't know what and I'm curious about it. Agatha switching her demeanor. So because she recognizes that teen is not her son, she's gonna treat him differently. Okay. The depth of condensation, condensation, not condensation, that she immediately treated Teen with, though, was wah. And Teen Billy, Billy retaliated by throwing her in a pit of mud. Okay, why did he throw, throw Lilia and Jen into the pit of mud? Yes, using them to do his bidding so Agatha can't steal his powers. Got it. Why drown them as well? And is, is he Wanda's son or is he a version of Wanda's son or is he a multiverse fragment of Wanda's son? <laughs> That's all confusing. But we'll find out because we're going to watch. Yes, yes. Were those your thoughts? Those were your... Let me know if those were your thoughts. Those were my thoughts over the last week. But this one is a longer episode, 49 minutes. Hoo-hoo. I'm excited to get to it. And I'm so glad that you are with me. So we are going to get under the cozy, comfy blanket because the weather forecast this morning said in my area, sun with some clouds, scattered showers, and a weak thunderstorm. So we had all the weather today. <laughs> so now we're in the thunderstorm part of the day. So I got the big cozy blanket, I have my gloves, I have my beverage, which is lemonade and the rest of the Prosecco because I had to finish that bottle. Let me know what you're drinking. Also, don't forget, you can watch this full episode with me on Patreon. I would love to see you there. So if you're ready, I think I'm ready. Let's get to it. Very fitting name for this episode if we're talking about the familiar. <gasps> Flashback! Baruch Hu Ad Adonai And it's blue. Okay. So not Wanda's son. <laughs> You're having fun. <laughs> Who, me? Never. Hey, have you eaten anything? Oh, good. Perfect. Unless he's adopted. Possible. 
And we love you more than we could ever hope to communicate in human words. Thank you for everything. God, I got a bad feeling that spell's gonna happen. He's gonna annihilate all these people. <laughs> Cecilia. Welcome to the Curious. It is. Are we looking behind us or ahead? And she didn't recognize him? It's clear that a long journey lies ahead of you. Your lifeline is broken in two. It can mean many things. It often represents personal growth and you're becoming a man. A new you. I wouldn't worry. Not the tower <laughs> reversed. Oh no. Okay, so the tower upright is not good. Tower reversed isn't as terrible. Did she place the sigil? She did. Or does she not remember placing the sigil? Well, yeah, of course she wouldn't because it's on her as well. Sorry to interrupt. We've just been informed there's something happening with the anomaly in Westview. Everybody oh. needs to go home as quickly, as safely as possible. It's okay. We'll be home soon. Is it going away? It looks like it's getting smaller. Mom! It's out! William, William, William. Oh, it is the split life. It's rather convenient he went from a William to a William. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hi. This is where you'd say, since when do you call me buddy? Would I? Seriously? He's gonna make fun of me. I'm doing my best here. Ooh. Please don't fight. What do you mean? We're not fighting. So he can read minds. Hmm. And the really good news is you're cleared to be discharged as soon as tomorrow. Ready? Yeah, of course. Oh, they made a really good job making him look young, young. <laughs> young, young without making him look weird, young, young. But young, you know what I mean. I hope. I hope you know what I mean. So William Kaplan died, died, and Billy is now in his play body. That's so sad because William Kaplan looked like he had a good set of friends and and whatnot. And that's, William. that's probably just the smell from the hospital or something. <laughs> and I'm sad because they lost their son and don't know it. Please stop. Please just just stop. Stop what, buddy? Maybe seeing his robot talking. Just give me my son back. Stop worrying. Um, as a parent in general, Pumpkin, that's never going to be possible. Alice in Wonderland through the Looking Glass. Interesting. Was that a Wizard of Oz poster? Goodies never say die. Good movie posters. My name is William Kaplan. I'm William Kaplan. Granted, he was, what, four days old when all of this happened? I always have fun with you. <laughs> oh, that's right, the boyfriend! The boyfriend! It's nothing. It's, it's a sigil. At least I, I think it is. So he knows what a sigil is. 
I'm just saying. I can't not. He can still read minds. Chaplain, I love you. I, I need to tell you something. The car accident. I, I never told you about it, but uh, I died that night. And when I came back, I was different. Something else. I'm not William Kaplan. At least, not entirely. I just pretended to recover so my parents wouldn't worry. I want you to know the real me. Whoever that is, because... Because I love you, too. You love me... Too. I, I, I love you. <laughs> Period. Boyf is gonna die! Boyf is gonna die! I know he called him later, but... If you're not William Kaplan, who are you? So I compiled a dossier. Uh. Wow, he's sharing everything! Okay, so Billy, what was Billy's last name? Was it Maximoff or was it... The Vision? <laughs> I know that shirt. Where do I know his shirt from? At the exact moment we crashed, that anomaly was collapsing. I thought that turned out to be some Avengers training exercise gone wrong. Oh, that was the story. People who were there refused to talk about it. But I did find this guy on Reddit. God, if it's boner. He used to live there. I was supposed to meet him tomorrow. In a parking garage. I think that's him. Ooh. This is the same outfit he goes to. Agatha's house, right? Are you craft crazy 17? You must be bonerific 69. Boner! <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can just call me Ralph. Randall, call me Randall. Get down! <laughs> Wanda Maxima? You wanna hear this or not, Bob? You couldn't move. Talk. It was like watching yourself on TV. Does he have chicken feet hanging from his lapels? Agatha Harkness, please don't ask about Agatha Harkness. Please don't ask about Agatha Harkness. What do you know about Agatha Harkness? Oh, come on, man! Who is Agatha Harkness? She's an ancient freaking witch who will F your shit up, all right? What? It's witch repelling! Is it supposedly hazel, uh, holy water? Hazel water. Holy water? Agatha hijacked my life. She called me her husband. Did she? But I was her puppet. She stole my house. Completely ruined the market value. I was a terrible influence on one of Vision's kids. And I poisoned the dog. She had him poison the dog! Wait, Wanda and Vision have kids? Ooh. The little speedster. And his mind reading brother. They just disappeared. Agatha is still in Westview? Last I heard, she was under some kind of spell or something. Acting like a normal resident. Sourdough starters, potlucks, and whatnot. So she's harmless. Did I say that? I did not say that! No. Hey! Word to the wise. Don't go sniffing around there. But he goes sniffing that night. He's wearing the same clothes. They are taking their time with this episode, which I find fascinating. You want to watch a movie? Psychological horror? Oh, he's living that right now. I got homework to do. Part of the Zeppelin explosion. <laughs> Fun facts. Fun facts. Down, down, down the road, down the witches, down the witches road. And I'll see you at the end. Oh, I'll see you at the end. And he was off.
like that with minimal planning. I would have needed another day to plan. Blackheart! It's a black heart! It's a black heart! This is a great idea. Not even 12 more hours of planning? Pumpkin, kid, baby child. Just a little bit more. A little bit more preparedness. And he he thought he thought he was just gonna break into this witch who's the killed fun fact killed her coven and only survivor of the witch's road which supposedly he knows is dangerous and he thinks he could just break into her house well we know what happened but still still mm -hmm. jesus mary and joseph Ow. Oh my god, that hurt. <laughs> Are you okay? Stop! I'm sorry! Hold your horse! Sorry! <laughs> Hooligan? Oh, it wasn't a car car. It was just the door. I Ms. Harkness, I I just now recognize the shirt. Jeez. <laughs> This kitchen shears is her firearm. What compelled you to break into the home of a decorated detective? Detective? Oh, that's not what I was expecting, but actually I can totally see that for you. Yeah. <laughs> can I just trouble you for a glass of water? Or... Yeah. Ow! <laughs> in the bear i do not want to poke the bear mm. no no you don't no i don't no you do not no i do not you do not want to poke you're right that bear. i do not want to poke the bear i want to work with you detective agatha there you go that'll work that won't work <laughs> okay i know what you do you <laughs> no i'm dave Please. no shut your mouth away that's really tight. Check it. <laughs> oh, come on, I do not want to go back in the closet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> My name is William Kaplan. Say again. I'm Billy Maximoff. This is a uh, Princess Bride crawling out of the, uh, the sand. So it's no longer needed. And he's still there. That was quite a debut. When did you figure it out? I had a feeling when we first met. Even with the sigil in the way, you and your mother have the same tell. It's nice to see you again. Billy. I'm not like you. Where have I heard that before? Hmm. Don't you dare feel guilty about your talent. You survived. You saw an opportunity, an empty vessel, and you moved in. So you broke the rules. Big deal. That was a breaking of the rules when he didn't know if he was doing it. That's what makes you special. That's what makes you a witch. It's Agatha seeing a potential protege. If we're gonna make it to the end, we. But I don't need you anymore. Oh. I don't know if I ever did. Are you gonna blast her with it so she could suck it from you? What does Billy Maximoff want at the end of the road? Find Mama? No. So who is left? 
I can sense him, I just can't find him. Gosh, you really are a Maximoff. If you really want to finish this together, just know that I do not trust you. Ever. But you did kind of sort of punkin, which is why when she killed Alice, it crushed you. Got it. Got it. Let's go find the next trial. Last one there is a nice person. I'm not that nice. Well, some answers and more questions and the return of Ralph Boner. <laughs> surprise, not surprise. So teen is Billy Kaplan as well as, I should say William Kaplan, as well as Billy Maximoff. There was a fragment of that sucked into him as he died. So yeah, my question at the beginning was, and it sounds as if William Kaplan died and Billy took him over. Not that the two of them are inhabiting the same body, which is so sad for those parents. They lost their son and don't even know it. So Kaplan dad kind of looked to me like the shield not shield shield guy from wandavision but maybe they just look similar the actors are similar and it's not the same guy although i know i'm seeing him in something not too far past and that's why it's messing with my head okay and yes as if i as i said earlier they took their time laying the groundwork of william becoming billy i wish though we had seen where he was first got the idea to start studying witchcraft and looking into why he can read minds or hear voices and what that was tied to. We had a time leap, understand, but I, I personally would want to know what specifically triggered him. Was it just having that sigil? If that was enough for him to go, what is this? And then do research on it. And Lilia was the one that cast it interesting i know we're gonna see lily and jen again yes because we know there's the wizard of oz episode coming so do they climb themselves out of the pits of despair as well and track them down before the next test and where is rio still <laughs> and the salem seven we had him for half a second and then they disappeared so they've got to come back that can't be all of it and I also find it interesting that Billy is looking for Tommy. He's not looking for his mother. Agatha did not tell Billy that Wanda is, for all intents and purposes, dead. And so he's looking for Tommy. Interesting. And I loved seeing Tommy's side of the conversation with Detective, Agatha, Detective Agnes. <laughs> That's what it was, Detective Agnes. This is interesting. I could see this for you, though. No, I don't want to play. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Cute. Mm -hmm. So interesting. Fla we did get a flashback, though. We did get a tight jump. Just not as, as we expected. <gasps> ah, there we go. Episode six. What do you think, y'all? Was this a welcome detour or was it we didn't need this explanation? I've got thoughts. I can't wait to see everybody else's reaction to this as well. But okay, but there we go. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Do not be a stranger. So please hit subscribe so you know when whatever it is I'm watching next drops because there is lots going on this week and I would love to see you there. But in the meantime, this is your reminder to stand, walk around the living room a little bit or your bedroom or your rec room or wherever it is that you're watching this. Take a few steps touch your toes and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.